Uh, hey, Josh. Uh, uh, it's the first time we've had a chance to talk to a lot of you guys since uh, the news last night that the team traded Matthew uh, to the Falcons. What was the reaction in the locker room when you found out that Matthew wasn't going to be with the team this season? Yeah, um, Matt was a big part of our team. You know, um, high-energy guy. And, um, you know, everybody was excited to see him go, definitely. You know, um, just being around him, you know, for the last couple of years, it's, it's been great. And, um, you know, he's definitely going to be missed. Um, and the guys took on the next next man up mentality. You know, um, that's what he would have wanted us to do. And, um, you know, that's just what we're going to continue to do. So, Josh, what will it take for you guys to, you know, come up as a team, just when you mentioned that next man up, you had five sacks tonight, kind of responsibilities as a group. What will that be like leadership-wise as well for all of you? You know, uh, like you said, the word team, it's all about the team. And um, as a collective unit, we have to step up to the challenge. You know, each one of us has a role to do, a job to do. And um, at the end of the day, that's what we're going to do. So, you know, each one of us, you know, including the coaches as well, we're going to come together and get that done. Josh, how do you look at this opportunity for you personally, though? It, it seems like you specifically might have more snaps, might be leaned on more in the pass rush with Judon, not here anymore. Yeah, um, like I said, the next man up mentality, whatever the coach is asking me to do, um, I'm always going to try to do the best I can to help the team win. And, um, you know, I got to ramp it up. You know, I got to up my game and do everything I can to help the team win. What did you like about the way you guys played tonight and the pressure that you applied, especially so fresh off the Judon news? You know, um, it, it just took, we took on the next man up mentality, like we talked about. And, um, you know, the guys just constantly applying pressure. I mean, you know, we don't, we don't flinch, don't blink, and we just continue to apply pressure. So. Uh, Joshua, Gerard mentioned that without Judon, maybe you guys will lean a bit more on line games. I was wondering, how do you feel like your guys' chemistry is on those types of plays, and how do you build more rapport as the season goes on? You know, um, luckily for us, we're still in training camp, so that's that's what training camp is for, and that's what practice is for, to continue to build up the chemistry, you know. And um, I feel like we, we've got some veterans on the team that have been here before, been in certain situations before, and, you know, it's going to be on us to kind of carry it, you know, and build the camaraderie, build the chemistry as the season goes along, so. Josh, what do you take out of this week? You guys talked about it was a big week with the joint practice on Tuesday, and then tonight you're facing Hertz and Brown and company on Tuesday, and then you get the job on here today. What did you see from your defense in this this week? You know, we, we saw we saw continuity. You know, we came out there, and um, you know, we held them to a few points. You know, going in and um, you know, uh, bent a little bit, but we didn't break, and um, we just got to continue that. We got to reduce the points. You know, I know it wasn't as much as we would like, but. If they don't score, they don't win. So um, we, we just got to do a better job defensively and um, just continue to refine some things, come back better. Kind of building off of what Dan asked, how do you anticipate maybe the energy, things changing this week? There's always kind of a sense of urgency at this time of year for some guys on the roster. But for you guys, you know, as the regular season gets closer, what does that look like for you guys in the locker room and on the practice field? You know, we try to practice proper preparation prevents poor performance, so we try to go out there and treat practice like the games and you know that that's going to translate into the game so you know any opportunity we get in practice we try to maximize you know as much as we can and you know when the season comes we'll be ready